I want to bring in market strategist and major leagues investor David Barnson. David, you feel as strongly as I do about this. What do you, you sent a letter to business leaders. What are you doing about this? I did. I, the New York Post was kind enough to publish the letter yesterday, Stuart, and I feel extremely strongly about this, although it sounds like I'm a bit more optimistic than you are. I don't believe all of these people are going to stay home forever. I don't believe that life will not be able to continue until a vaccine comes. The good people of Sweden are proving that on a daily basis. But, um, Stuart, we don't have leadership in the city of New York, and so we have to turn to the people who I think have the most competence and the most capability here, and that's the business leaders, yep. the CEOs, executives that run the companies inside all of those gorgeous skyscrapers that fill the skyline of Manhattan. They right now have figured out a place to run their companies efficiently with a lot of their workforce at home, and I think that's fine. But they have the ability to safely get people back in the office. They have unlimited resources to do social distancing and proper hygiene and so forth. They can handle the logistics. What they them need them is the it? will. Well, but, okay. Let, if, if they've got the will and they want to do it the way you say it, do you think they will actually do it? Will people come back to work in our big cities? Will they really do that? Yes, yeah, so I have no doubt in my mind because I watched New York City after 9-11. This is not a city that lost its heart. This is not a city that lost its toughness. It is unbelievable to me that terrorists could put airplanes through buildings, kill thousands of people, and the city could come back swinging and fighting. And I'm supposed to believe that this virus is going to permanently kill the great spirit and will of this tremendous well, global not city. David. I, no, no, I'm not. I'm not saying it permanently kills the city. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that in the immediate future. This city, look outside, is not doing yeah. well and will not do well for months to come. And that will slow down the economy. That's right. And so all I'm arguing, Stuart, is that let's talk about the timeline. Don't accept. I'm talking to the CEOs of J.P. Morgan and Blackstone and the great employers throughout Manhattan, not just financial firms either. I mean, media firms, for that matter, but all kinds of industries. What I'm saying is don't accept New Year's Day as your return to work day. Let's look to Labor Day. Let's start phasing it in sooner. I understand it's summer right now and, and de Blasio is making it as difficult as possible for life to go back to normal. But move the timeline higher, not for your sake or my sake or other folks that are probably in a different uh, strata economically, for the sake of the dry cleaners, the restaurants, the bus boys, the blue collar workers, the service workers that need the city engaging. They need that life that makes New York, New York. Absolutely. Well said, David Bonson. Well done indeed. David, thank you, sir. We'll see you again soon. Yes. Promise. Thank you.